Okay, the time is six thirty now, sir. And if you can yes. start recording. Yes, start it. Start it. We will begin the session. Okay. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Red Pond, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the core team mental health webinar series and the organizer, Department of Psychology, the American College Madras, and the associating partners, Madras School of Social Work, Chennai, MS Shalamutu Institute of Rehabilitation and Mental Health, Madurai, Red Pond Educational and Psychological Research Center, Madurai, and Psycho Oncological Association, Turkey. We warmly welcome you all, the participants of today, and the resource person, our dear Dr. Suresh Kumar, sir. Uh, we have always been talking about taking control over things and we have planned our own ways to control things. So today our sir is going to talk about the better ways of taking control over self and aiming at a better life. Without further ado, I leave the session to Dr. Suresh Kumar. Sir, we are happy to have you here again. The session is to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Chandra. Actually, um... Uh, it's a great welcome and honor for me uh, to share my bit of learning and knowledge regarding the self-control. And uh, uh, this was the one most of that uh, people who try to control the self and fail, even for uh, the saint and uh, who practice the self-actualization also fail. But even though uh, uh, there are uh, some uh, easy tricks, we can say that when we know that the person who know the formula for calculating that particular problem, they can easily uh, solve the problem. Likewise, in self-control also, there is a particular roadmap or we can say that a design or a plan. If you follow that particular plan, we can also develop self-control and, and, and you will come to know that what are the benefits out of having the self-control also. When we know that self-control benefit, then we will practice it. And, and when you ask right now, why many people are not practicing self-control? Because they are not aware about that benefit out of having that practicing self-control. That is the only reason. Okay. Just in my presentation, I'm going to uh, make an uh, arrangement in that way. One is what? Okay. What is it? Why we have to practice self-control? Why? And then how? So these are the three questions I'm going to answer. And uh, you can decide whom and where you are going to practice. So it is, I'm, I'm leaving up to you. You can practice up, up to that. And uh, it is about me, I think she uh, said that. And I'm going to give one of the quote by uh, Pietro. What he said that I am indeed a king because I know how to rule myself. When you want to claim as a king, you must be, you must be, have the skill of self-control. If you are not able to control yourself, you are, if you are not able to rule yourself, you cannot rule other members. Not only in your family and also in, in, the, uh, in the whole country, you cannot do control over it. First, you have to control yourself, then control the family members and control the country. So that we can take it from that one. And next one is uh, uh, what we can say that um, self-control is an ability. And you cannot say that uh, some people naturally they have the ability and some of them they may not have the ability. Okay. It is an ability we have to develop ourselves to control. That is the main thing. It is an ability. If we say that the ability we can be developed and it, the training can be given to develop its self-control. As I said in the beginning, there are many people who try to control their self and they fail. But there are some people, they know the formula how to take up that solving the problem and they solve it. And here also there are some strategy we can adapt to solve the, uh, adapt to practice the self-control. And, and for that, we need to understand that what is self-control? And, and uh, when, when you look at that uh, self-control, people, what are the terms they will say? The person will be more disciplined. They are self-controlled, they will be more disciplined. For example, army and navy people, they are more systematic, self-discipline we can find it. There is one quality. And determination. And, and that self self control people are determined. Yes, I, I want to take only these things. I don't want to more than that. The determination will be that I want to reach my goal. And another thing, the grit, the willpower, we can say. The grit means um, they, they have that uh, resilience. The high resilience power will be there in a power. Willpower, that confidence level and fortitude. These were the quality we can find out a person who is having the self control. And we can check ourselves. Whether we are having these qualities, if it is so, or already self-controlled person. If not, then there is a question. If not, then you try to 
develop those skills. Okay, what exactly the psychologists are saying about self control? And when you look at that uh, inputs given by uh, and the psychologists, what they are saying that psychologists are saying that it is an ability to control our behavior. You see, our uh, self can be understood by others through observing our behavior only. When there is a change in our behavior, we can able to see the externally. What we can say the behavior we can observe externally. It is an ability. Self control is an ability to control our behavior. The first one is what we are thinking. It may not be known to other people. How the people will say that this person is disciplined by seeing the behavior of an individual. Okay, uh, to to overcome our uh, temptations and and uh, other. Uh, um, Uh, distractions. When we overcome these things, and when we are focusing on our goal, we can say it is on our ability to control our behavior. That is the first component. First component of self-control. And second one is it is our ability. For example, there are something will be there. You can delay the gratification. See, immediate gratification is a behavior of eat behavior. Other is called animal behavior. The self-control people, what they will do, they will delay the gratification. Now I can say that the single child parent. They are not giving this practice to the children. That's why they are not having the self-control. If the children are asking something immediately, what about the cost it is? Because they are only child. Pampering, they are doing, and immediately they will give it to them. And immediate gratification, if you address it in the beginning itself and later stage, and they cannot develop self-control. Delay the gratification. So that will help us. For example, we may have the urge to have the ice cream. Okay, during the winter time. We may have the urge to eat the ice cream, and and there are many many unwanted diseases and urges will be there surrounding us. I can give one example in the technological world. When you get through that social media, if you search something, and immediately on uh, uh, unwanted content will come, and especially for adolescents when they are preparing for examination, it will it will uh, um, trigger their gratification, and and if they take a minute, they may fall into that prey pattern. So the second one is self-control person. We can see the quality of they delay the gratification. So when you delay the gratification, your self will be very high. And the third one is um, uh, we all know that we are having the limited resources. We have to uh, preserve that resources, which should not be depleted or destroyed. And and self-control, you have to save the energy what you are having. So these are the three important things we have to consider to say that the person is on self-control. And um, um, the ultimate aim of uh, practicing self-control is uh, to improve the health and well-being. And we are uh, running towards that only for uh, success and happiness. When we do the self-control, there is an one saying that in a movie, it's a comedy movie in Tamil, and uh, uh, those who are not able to understand, <laughs> uh, forgive me. There is an uh, um, uh, they um, beat that villain. Okay, villain try to beat the hero. Instead of him, he try to beat the family members, and he will say that if I beat you, he will get a pain, and he will ask them, "In your age, I want to get the valley too." So here we have to understand that 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 means we think that uh, for achieving success and wellness and the health things, we have to focus only on those things and only you focus on somewhere else, and that will give uh, direct. We can say that indirectly that will give health and wealth. When you have the self control. And we can say that the outcome of practicing control is your health and well-being, and and we can take that uh, the studies were carried out. The science and research they discovered that the major trait of one successful people, okay, which were proven that uh, that gives number of benefit to the individual only is an intelligence. When you are taking what to do, what not to do, that is an intelligent people. That is why most of the uh, female are more intelligent than male. This is my understanding. You all agree with me that recently there was a finding uh, by the research that the intelligence came from the mother, not from the father. Okay, there is an. If you are intelligent, it will give wide range of benefit. Likewise, you will get an equal and benefit out of practicing self-control, which were already proven in that uh, science researches, and and you know the benefit, you know the importance of self-control. Now. Why we have to practice self-control? These are the questions in front of us, and many of us asking ourselves. You may ask, why have to practice? If you say the youngsters, you know, for especially the age group, the teenage members, whatever you say, they will say against us. Oppositely, they will talk about it, and and uh, sarcastic way, they will answer the questions. 
If you say if you uh, practice self control, you'll get a benefit. How? We have to tell them what are the benefit they will get. I'm going to tell about some of the benefit out of practicing self control. When we know that why we have to practice self control, and when we practice this self control, these are the benefit you'll get. We all know that decision making is one of the important quality. The success of our any kind of initiative depends on our decision making. These self control people has a capacity making the right decisions. So that is the one one uh, important benefit. And another one is that increases the chances of success. I'm going to tell one of the experiment which was conducted by uh, the researcher in psychology. At the end of this, uh, the benefit I will, I will tell you the experiment what he was conducted. It increases the success. The chances of high, more, for, for example, in probability, when we toss the coin, whether you are going to get head or tail, and the success rate, if you say that this probability will be high among the people who are having self-control, and those who are not having self-control, the success rate will come down. And and I think as I said in the beginning itself, the cut ties, thimble, see one unwanted gratification and behavior. Okay, for example, uh, binge eating and uh, drinking and uh, lying. So these were the defense mechanisms. Sometimes this will be curtailed when you are self-controlled, and you will not do for negative things. When you do, when you practice lie at one time, you have to hope more, lie again and again to support that first lie which you have made. Okay. So the self-controlled people not having any uh, effort need on to put for uh, covering that lie they made because they are going to say the truth only. And another benefit it improves our focus. Self-controlled people are improved, and and uh, the, there are many people. I remember uh, best example I can say, especially for the teenagers. Uh, Pondicherry is known for uh, liquor. I think you all agree with me there. But there are many people who are from the Pondicherry. They may not uh, addicted to drugs. I know many of my friends. They never took uh, alcohol, and and uh, they are self-controlled because they know that ill effect of having uh, addiction towards alcohol. So they are more focused. Self control increases the focus on what to do, what not to do. So it improves focus. And another thing is, uh, uh, most of the people you can, uh, there is an one article uh, who has conducted uh, a research study for eight years. Still, you can search in that uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, eight qualities or eight traits of successful people or uh, rich people. They found that self control is one of the pretty important quality. Self control is one of the important quality. So when you want to become a rich person, so you have to practice that self control. Okay, every one of us we we want to be rich in our life. Okay, then then and then there is one of the important qualities self control. When you practice self control, definitely you will reach that uh, the goal which I have said earlier. And another one is uh, confidence. And there is a lot of conflict we may experiences in every day. I can say that every day we face conflict. Whether whether I have to, uh, um, what kind of food I have to take. This con, the decision making the conflict, the conflict will be there. To the confluence means to make an adjustment and adaptation to the decision and that uh, um, move forward. So to promote the confluence between the self and the environment, between the persons. So this is another important quality. When you have that, when you practice self-control, it increases your adjustment to the self, adjustment to the environment, adjustment to the other people. And uh, the, here is the experiment. I think uh, many of you may be aware about the experiment. If not, I will tell you. And when uh, the researcher who asked the kids were uh, put in a waiting hall, okay, he placed a, a sweet candy, okay, marshmallow. That is the experiment. That is a test he conducted. What he has done, he placed a sweet candy, and he uh, given the direction to the kids that if you wait, when I come back, if you are not taking this uh, sweet candy, you will get uh, more uh, sweet candies. So this was the instruction given to him. And uh, as I said, it's an urge is there in front of them. There is an urge. If, if he eat immediately, he can solve that uh, gratification immediately. He can gratify, but actually. Whoever wait for the time, and he it is an one side mirror. He observe the behavior of the children, and some people, some kids, they um, uh, they don't want to get one more uh, sweet candy. They took immediately and gratified. And some people they took and uh, lick that uh, sweet candy and place. And some people they took small portion of it. And someone they they were very controlled himself and they never took anything. 
and then when he come back uh, the person who were not uh, taken and uh, anything and uh, touched it and controlled they got more sweet candies it shows that the number of people who are having the self control it is very less people right so when you look at that when you are self control you are a unique person and you are you will not fall under that most number of people and you will be very limited to you look at the number of successful people very less number and you will comes under that category and you will get more benefit out of practicing self control i hope you know why we have to practice self control now there is a uh, person in front of us how to develop self control and and uh, i remember that there are many program i was attended and they are also talking about that there are many strategies just i'm going to um, uh, um, uh, just present to you that what are the strategies we can adapt to develop the self control the first one is about uh, avoid the temptation avoid the temptation there are many ways you can avoid the temptation one is you can uh, uh, shift your attention from the temptation if there is an ice cream okay then the person I, i still remember when i was a kid uh, your yeah, ice cream uh, uh, seller will come uh, you used to come to my street whenever he saw the kids including me and he will make a, the bell sound and we all know that <laughs> it is a condition we all know that there is uh, some bell sound is the ice cream man is coming and we need to get it and we will go and uh, um, get the money from the parents when now the person come and they 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 hide the money and they usually they will not uh, uh, there they will disappear so the, the delay there is a one way and what we can do that to avoid the temptation what we can we can make an ice cream in our home itself they will say that there, um, there, there are uh, a few uh, inputs may we may receive from the parents saying that it may be more uh, polluted water and it may harm to you and the viral infection may come you will get a cold and fever and we have to spend more money don't do that so this kind of thing they we may get it and another thing is you know, there are something we may like it if you don't take it and then you will get it these are the inputs we may receive from the parents i i um, if we avoid the temptation there are uh, easy ways and you can switch your attention to that temptation stimulant things to that other area directly opposite or somewhere else you can move away from the area that is an easiest way you can avoid the temptation and another one is you can look at the picture unless you are not having the proper planning and uh, you may not have the plan ahead so self control you decide that what you are going to do that keep in your mind i am going to do these things morning 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock i am going to do particular activity after that this and and uh, Uh, what we can say that systematic way we can go that and these people are more controlled and we can get uh, uh, self regulation practice and self control will will not come in uh, immediately after the next day when i say that when you follow this is very next day you will not be self controlled person you have to regulate yourself for a particular period for that you have to plan ahead okay how many days and i can say that uh, there are few studies were saying that a minimum 3 weeks Three to four weeks, if you follow the particular uh, systematic procedure, and you will develop that skill, the ability of self-control. And then another one is uh, um, the practice using self-control. So uh, 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 there may be some uh, temptation and uh, stimulating or distracting thing will be there. You see that uh, the best example is breathing. There are many stimulant will come. The mindfulness breathing and mindfulness exercise will help you to. practice the self control what you can do you can close your eyes and focus on only one you are breathing only inhale and then exhale just focus only on practice self controlling only there are many stimulant will come there are five sense organs are there there are many sensation we may experience through these sense organs and instead of giving attention to the different sensory sensory input you have to focus on only only one sensory input it is very difficult in the beginning days it is very difficult in the beginning days but over a period of time when we practice these things we will be mastered in self control so so this kind of practice we can take and uh, uh, our brain were uh, uh, structured in a way we can focus on only one goal at a time the self control is uh, you have to practice only one activity at a time and that's why you can see that while you are driving don't use your mobile phone why they are saying it there are uh, uh, in attention theory there are uh, pre uh, Uh, attenuation, post attention, and attenuation. These are the theories saying that our brain has a capacity to focus on only one activity at a time. 
there are few people who are trained understand who are trained to focus on two activities they will listen music and then read this practice cannot be done by all the people so focus on one goal at a time so that, that is an easiest way you can develop your self control and uh, yeah, as i said like mindfulness meditation the best way i can say the best way you can uh, develop uh, self control is on meditate maybe uh, uh, in spiritual way in all the religion i can say they are having the practice of meditation close your eyes don't give focus to any other distraction think about only one thing in your mind only one one activity at a time and um, um see we have to say to ourselves you have the capacity you have the capacity you can able to overcome that uh, struggle or uh, uh, <clears throat> problem your conflict you are having in your mind you have to remind yourself frequently whenever there is an you deviate from the self control i i remember that uh, now there is a digital wellness application sadar in our mobile so it will uh, remind us you are using excessively if you, you stay away from that uh, screen for some time after 30 minutes it will remind you i hope some of you may have this kind of uh, notification in your mobile smartphone saying that uh, don't strain your eyes so so remind yourself uh, don't uh, give uh, attention to other activities or multitasking now there is a word is very surfacing and they are using more frequently multitasking is good we can survive but yes it is important to but we have to understand that if you want to control yourself when you want to perform more do one activity at a time and you have to prioritize what need to be done and then you can say yeah, say to yourself yes you can this kind of words what you can say positive affirmation yes uh, digital self control support uh, for example if you have that planner the google planner is that you can fix it in a schedule what are the things you want to do but it will at the end it will give a report i, I wonder amazing it is on in your most smartphone uh, what are the goal you set in the beginning whether you are controlled in that uh, goal which you have set or not how many percentage you have achieved and it will give the grade it will give the reward it will uh, you can use it i can give some of the application in the chat box at the end of my presentation you can also try to practice this uh, digital self control support and another one is uh, we have to practice a pattern of behavior okay self control as a pattern of behavior the as is at the beginning it's a systematic more systematic that's why you can see that uh, military people are more self control they are saying that you all agree with me that they will do that more the pattern of behavior to more systematic so practice and systematic in a particular timing particular day so that will make you to more self control and uh, as i said there are a lot of uh, distractions will be there we have to find out healthy distractions okay there are temptations and uh, urges will be from the different uh, things is try to have the healthy distraction what are the healthy distraction go for exercise the running walking or something you can uh, spend some quality time for learning reading books anything anything uh, you just to google it you can find out that number of healthy distraction listen music gardening um, um, playing with pet animals these were the thing will uh, i can say that healthy distractions if there is something you feel that uncomfortable you practice any one of the healthy distractions um uh, belly breathing belly breathing is an uh, is uh, now we can say breathing is an exercise for relaxation for self control also whether you can able to control for uh, your uh, uh, breathing or not from there itself we can find out it is an easiest but we can say that assessment it will help you whether you have the capacity uh, to control your breathing or not so how, how much time you can able to hold it and and, and this it will it will guide you it will regulate you to practice self control and new hobbies yes new hobbies uh, and uh, there is a saying is that lonely mind is playground for devils okay when we are not having anything an unwanted thought unwanted thinking thinking about fast and future will come so to uh, avoid those things to uh, stay away from that you can engage yourself in developing new hobbies and you can develop new skills for your work new support system there are some environment some of group of members some of the friends will support okay when you feel distracted and if you say them i, I couldn't focus on something and they will help you and and uh, okay uh, for example uh, tomorrow the very next day is an examination but there are important course need to be study and if you inform them and they are like okay i will let the parents will do that new support system the friends and parents 
and and uh, there are many 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 friends will be there in, in their circle find out them and then use those as services once if you achieve particular if you set a goal and if you have done a self control and a particular component um, um uh, you can reward yourself like i we can say that it is an uh, in behavior therapy it is an mostly used technique technique we can say that that can be used for uh, here also improving self control positive reinforcement but rewards can be given token economy they can say that when you achieve something you can take a pride of it okay. and the another one is learn sometime um, i can say that there may be you may feel that you can internalize that you are uh, routine or uh, distracted and you may uh, here going here and there when you come into that if you are not able to internalize and some of your friends may say that you have the problem just make it and find out right help from the professional there are many people are here i can say uh, for nimans uh, toll free number you can call in india and for uh, tamil nadu if you are there you can go to 104 not only tamil nadu in all the state you can call the 104 not 108 104 where you can get a uh, telephonic uh, uh, counseling and one more thing the self control we are not able to make because of the stress we are experience so learn the coping mechanism management strategy for managing your stress your day to day stress and have to create a minimum level of stress needed what we can say that is a new stress and if it is on more than that it is called distress that is a very bad one and, and you try to have the skill to cope the stress and another one is you have to increase increase our stress. okay we we may have a plan for example in a new year we may have an agenda so this year i am going to do these things you may have an everything you may written and uh, you check whether how many days you are having the particular uh, follow and you have to encourage yourself you have to stick with the plan for some time and once if you are done for one or two months and need not to be wait for the third month it will be routine practice so uh, stick with that and another thing is you, you can practice self control when you are having the healthy body and healthy mind that can be achieved through better sleep and that uh, brain energy can do um, good thing for your self control practices so sleep better better sleep you must have and exercise and nutrition and as i said um, what all the thing we are practicing we need energy for that we for that we have to do nutrition and detoxification for example there is a the word which is very dominantly used by the uh, present day uh, many people one is an digital detoxification we had an one of the wonderful session by dr shubhasri there she given a lot of strategies to have the digital detoxification here one of the detoxification exercises and do the exercise maybe running walking or in the room itself we can uh, um, simple exercise you can do so uh, this this one also will help you to uh, practice better self control and another one is most one thing for later to gain focus on what is important now and we know the priority as i said the schedule we need to put we know the priority and some of them were unwanted thing you going to movie instead of studying and your friend is calling for a, a marriage function or a, a get together and and instead of that you can focus on the, prepare the schedule what is important for a particular day and and you can do the particular activity and, and if once you complete the first one go to the next one in the least priority is give the last uh, at last only not immediately after that so uh, these are the strategy you can use for uh, practicing self control and these were the references i refer for preparing the content uh, thank you so much for listening to me and if you have any questions please let me know i will try to answer your questions thank you so much over to you, dr chandra Uh, thank you very much Kishore, for your nice presentation Kishore, as usual it was very concise and clear and uh, now the session is open for discussion the participants can unmute or put your questions in the chat box so to begin with i have one question sir my question yes. is what could be the three immediate effects of anyone who loses self control immediate effects one is that they cannot achieve any goal <laughs> this simple and uh, um i think uh, they are very prone to depression okay they, they cannot complete the work and uh, another uh, um, it will lead to the depression and stress and third one is um if, if they are not practicing self control and those that there are many benefit out of it and the procrastination is a behavior it will be cultivated 
and they may not be in the race of competition we all know that we are in that uh, competitive world there are a lot of competitions are there when you want to survive i think there is an old evolution theory saying that survival of fittest okay when you want to compete and you have to practice it if not then we will lose these are the three immediate effects according to my uh, learning and understanding thank you chandra thank you yes thank you so much suresh sir for that wonderful okay, presentation thank you yes. uh, so participants the floor is open for question and answers whoever have queries can put in the chat box or you could unmute yourself and ask the questions Hello. make them to unmute themselves yes now you can unmute yourself friends you can if you have any questions you can do that madam you can put your question in the chat sir good sir. evening sir good evening uh sir uh, i have a doubt sir yes please. Uh, like often people with self control or rather self discipline people are perceived as very rigid inflexible set in their ways uh, and uh, they are often ridiculed for being with this uh, nature sir because i have been often ridiculed for my particular rituals and practices like i prefer to have this meditation and walking and this is set for me from past 10 years and uh, often i'm ridiculed for uh, having such uh, attributes uh, i i don't know sometimes it gets to me i like to sorry if you have a continuous you can continue or it's going to give the answer okay okay so thank See, you um 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 uh, 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 priya yeah, I, i can say that the self control people are more disciplined more successful the other people are ridiculed because they cannot have the particular trait when we are getting jealous when something we are not having someone is having then we will be jealous and they will be saying something about uh, great point communication positive will be more about the self control people so these these are the things will happening and we have to prepare for that one also the self control people know that yes these things will come and they will not give a focus to that this kind of uh, unwanted uh, comments and negative inputs for that also they are self controlled <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir got it sir yes. got it sir thank you the the chat box is flooding with messages for the session sir i hope uh, it's it, there are no questions here as such okay so uh, my sir i have a question what are the yes. limitations to have self control so limitation is uh, one one limitation uh, is we are not having the proper role model okay for example if my parents are not practicing self control i may not know that what is self control practice and here i am going to take trial and error only i may thought that the particular practice is on uh, self control but it may not be so that is a one limitation one is uh, um, um, we need to get a proper training the ideal role model is there and we can overcome the limitations and another one is the self control people are uh, uh, sometime i think um, what we can say that uh, they they some sometime we may have the opinion about selfish people so this kind of thought may come and and uh, uh, i i can say this one also a limitation for them. for practicing self control okay thank you sir thank you for answering yes. that yes so yeah this this is with self control i hope uh, whatever points you have given uh, the participants would carry it and at least try to like follow it so that they can increase or they can try to apply this principle of self control in their life as well with that uh, we come to the end of the session and uh, i request dr chandra to please place vote of thanks yes yeah, it is always a pleasure to thank suresh sir and thank you is not just enough for what he is doing to all of us i hope all of you agree with that so every day uh, whenever he comes on the stage you know he brings out nice topics with nice colorful images and nice thoughts clearly and crisply presented so that we don't get confused of what to remember and what to forget 
it is really a tip to introspect ourselves and also it is sweet to remember also and follow it in our lives so personally i have taken a lot of uh, these things from the session and hope all of you have taken too and we are always fond of his sessions so thank you is not just enough to you sir but still we all thank you for this nice evening and also we keep saying that without participants this webinar series would have not come this far so thank you is also not just enough for all of you you have it, that means a lot to us your presence keep supporting and thank you all for being present this evening so on behalf of the core team and all the associating partners and the organizer i thank one and all who have been present in this session to learn about self control so let's try our best to control ourselves with this note i end the session today here see you all tomorrow in at another session the same time good night thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you